to my last video of the day. This is going to be True Creepy Me Don'ts Experience Animated um, by MJV Animation. So the video I, I just watched was a, a saga video, again a McDonald's story. So here is yeah, another McDonald's story. Um, I swear to god, it's not like McDonald's and like pizza stories. That's all it really is when it comes to like fast food. No Tim Hortons, of course that's one in Canada. Um, well, no, actually they have them in the US too, but they, I don't, it's not that popular, I guess, but anyway. No, like, Timmy's, no Taco Bell, I don't really hear about, I don't, I don't care about, like, anything else, like, Harvey's, I never hear about Harvey's or anything like that, I don't know if that's, like, Canadian and American, but, I don't know, but that's all I hear about is, like, McDonald's and pizza, so, I don't know. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's see what happens in this one. I mean, I, I don't know McDonald's as it is, but... convinced me to share this story, since she's always teasing me with it. I'm a 23-year-old man in Florida, fairly introverted, and I hardly get out of the house. This encounter happened a few months ago. It was about 12 a.m. and I was getting a bit stir-crazy and needed to get out and just chill with someone. So I texted a special lady friend of mine. We made plans to do our normal routine of hanging out at this nice secluded park. That's I went and picked her up. And we drove past our spawn and That's spent a couple of hours just chatting about anything and everything. A couple of hours? So I took two, two, and three hours? So we decided to hop in the car and drive down the road a bit to McDonald's. Hooray for 24-7 fast food. And this is where things started getting weird, though. We arrived at the McDonald's and went inside instead of through the drive-thru. She ordered her food while I went to the restroom to wash my hands. I'm a bit of a neat freak. I really wish I hadn't gone into the restroom that night. As soon as I walked in, I saw this guy standing in one of those heater dryer things. All right, not too weird. Mm, that's weird. He's, but he's, then he's I noticed pissed. that he was kind of hunched over at it. And he pissed. wasn't moving. And pissed. Whatever. I chose to ignore him. I washed my hands. But then I realized that he's standing at the only dryer in the place. And the damn paper towels are also empty. Of course they are. So I awkwardly try to ask the guy if he was done using the dryer. He doesn't respond. Thoroughly creeped out, I just walk out and dry my hands on my shirt. I get out of the restroom and find my friend, and we sit down at a table to eat. Maybe 20 minutes go by, and we're headed back out to the car to go back to our spot. Well, my friend has to use the restroom, so I figure I might as well also. Mm. I mean, surely that guy had to be gone by now, right? Wrong. That guy is still standing at the dryer, and I was something to himself now. I go into the stall and take a leak, and I can hear him hitting the button on the dryer over and over again. I wash my hands again and don't even attempt to get at the dryer, but the guy moves just as I'm trying to walk past him. He steps back, riding my path, and just looks at me. I notice he's around my age. He just stares at me and says, excuse me. Uh, okay. I put my head down and quickly say, pardon me, and rush around him to get out excuse of the restroom. Excuse me, what? But you're the one that backed up to me, dummy. As I'm waiting for my friend to get out of the ladies restroom, and the guy walks out. He just sits down at a table near me and just staring straight at me. Sus. My friend walks out and notices the creep just eyeballing me. She jokingly asks, Make a new friend in there? I just shake my head at her and try to lead her out to the car without making it obvious that I'm wanting to run from the guy. And then he does the weirdest thing. He just starts cackling like a madman. I mean, straight up joker laugh. I'm thinking to myself, oh shit, this crazy druggy dude is going to do something bad. He then just stops suddenly, looks down at my feet, and says, nice shoes. Osiris. Osiris is a brand of shoe, by the way. I don't say Osiris. I managed to stutter. Uh, thanks. And I walk away quickly, out to the car. As my friend and I are getting in, we notice the guy staring at me from inside the McDonald's. Just straight eyeballing me. Death stare. He then stands up and starts booking it towards us. Oh my god, go. He wasn't running, but he was like speed walking. Oh, man. He bursts through both doors of the McDonald's and starts coming right at us. Now he looks angry. I pulled out of the parking lot so fast, angry. it's a damn good thing the roads were empty. 
My friend and I went back to our spot and hung out some more. Every car we saw in the distance, I kept freaking out, expecting it to be that weird guy following us. My friend teased me about it the entire night, and still teases me about it to this day. About how I made friends with the creeper, in the bathroom, who liked my shoes. Alright then. Another story I really did not expect. By the way, if you saw my camera going like this a bunch, or like in a little bit, I've been playing a little thingy that my camera's on, it's just like a little string thing that I've been like fiddling with the whole amount of videos that I've been watching today, so yeah, I don't mind that, but I, I, hope, I, I hope that wasn't too annoying, it was just getting me through the videos. Uh, not, that I didn't, uh, not that I didn't like them, it was just, you know. But anyway, that was definitely interesting, I mean, possibly he was on drugs? Or something like that, because obviously he did not know what was going on, it seems like. He was pissed off looking at the thing, like as if he was like so angry about it. And it's like, okay. And then you can't use the thing, because he's in the way, and it's like, okay, whatever. And then you go again, and then he's like, excuse me, like, what do you mean, excuse me? You're the other one that backed up into me. Dummy, whatever. I mean, l l let me know what you guys thought, maybe some theories, or... I don't know, he was obviously on drugs or something was happening. Or he obviously did not understand, or I don't know, something was going on, you know? Like, he compliments you, and then he was, like, laughing happy, but it was, like, an evil laugh. It was, like, ah, ha, 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 and then he's just, like, ah, ha. Nice shoes. And pissed, and then just starts chasing you? What? This is exactly what I mean. Like, you don't know, like, in this video, like, in, in, in videos, I say this a lot of the time. It's, like, even if, even if I just go to work out in the fast food restaurant that I go, that I work at, it's like, you never know what you're really going to see, like, you can easily, like, you know, see anything, really, like, you could easily encounter someone like that, they could just chase you for no reason, you could get attacked for no reason at all, like, you just never know, that's all I'm just going to say, be, be careful, be safe walking, whatever, no matter what time it is, like, right now it's 7.30, it's obviously still late outside, as you guys can see, but I'm, I'm not going outside, or, or even, even, even if I do, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm nervous to go, but it's like, you just got to be, like, cautious, and like, you know, make sure that you're not being followed and all that stuff, you know? Because, like, you never know, to be honest. Like, you just never know. But, anyway, guys, stay cool, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Um, be sure to give me any, any more suggestions you have down below. And be sure to subscribe, like this video, and turn on post notifications. Okay, bye.